Today, Congress gave its highest civilian honor to a special group of World War II veterans. Two of those veterans are West Michigan men. Keith Cole and Ellsworth Al Johnson were part of the U.S. Office of Strategic Services, or the OSS. They organized, fought, and trained throughout Europe and Asia. Our Washington correspondent Jessica Smith reports the group was honored for its decisive role in America's victory. This is a moment more than 70 years in the making. On Wednesday, lawmakers awarded the Congressional Gold Medal to the men and women of the Office of Strategic Services, or the OSS. There is no higher honor that we can bestow here in Congress. The OSS was America's first strategic intelligence system started during World War II. It's considered the foundation of the modern-day special operations and intelligence communities. It's really incredible, isn't it? How high the stakes were and how nothing like this had ever been tried before. You aided the resistance, raided enemies, and rescued prisoners of war. Speaker Paul Ryan says the men and women of the OSS have never been collectively recognized for their actions until now. Veterans. At the ceremony, William Clark spoke on behalf of the OSS. At just 19 years old, he served in India. In addition to the usual weapons training, we were schooled in the collection of intelligence. At its peak, about 13,000 people served in the OSS. Now, Clark says only about 100 are alive to see this day. Brigadier General Robert Joseph LeBlanc is one of them. He traveled from Louisiana for the medal presentation. It represents the very people who saved their, who gave their lives. He says he hopes the ceremony teaches younger generations about the sacrifices the OSS made for freedom all those years ago. In Washington, I'm Jessica Smith.